It's another quick video about the chroma key feature inside Virtual DJ and if you can actually use it without a green screen. And yes, you can, at least to some extent. And this video is all about that. So if I uh, turn on my video output, currently running a, a shader, and I turn my laptop cam on, on top of it, I get this, of course, as you would expect. It just fills up everything, depending on how you position uh, the camera plugin, but right now it's full screen, so it basically takes up everything and you can't see the shader anymore. So what can you do about that? Well, you can do the little trick about going into dual source matching so you can get to the camera settings. I've already done that. So I have them over here. So here you can actually go into more and you can tell it, well, all the white here is going to be my background. So try replacing that or the ceiling or whatever over here. And you can get some kind of success. You can mess with it a little bit here. But as you can see, it's not really good. Um, because, well, it's not a green screen that's behind me. It's walls. It's basically my, my bedroom right now. I'm sitting on my bed. So I'm not perfect. So what can you do with then? Well, as you can see, there's a little thing up here saying Chroma Cam. And that's what I've tried to use. So what is Chroma Cam? Well, if I move this over a little bit and switch to my to my browser. Chroma Cam is a little thing built by someone, a company called Personify. And it's actually a go-between thingy that's designed to remove anything from the camera that's not in the absolute foreground. So that's a free trial. That's the one that will give you this little watermark up here. So uh, as you can see, that's actually already running for me. So uh, that's what I'm using right now. But the pro version that removes this thing is only about $30. That's, of course, money. But uh, there's also other solutions out there like Chroma Cam. So you can try other ones. But this is the one I've, I've messed with so far. So right now we have the watermark. But if you, uh, if you buy it, you don't. I have another laptop where the purchased version is on. So if I go back here, say, well, that's fine. Don't need you anymore. So I'm back on the Visual DJ here. And I say, well, what can this thing do? Well, when you open it and you actually start using it as a camera, because you can see over here that I've actually selected Chroma Cam as my camera. So that's how you do it. Virtual DJ sees it as a separate camera, but uh, but in reality, it's just a go-between. So it goes on top on, on your regular camera. You can, of course, in the settings here, tell it what camera it's supposed to be on top of if there are more than one. So right now in here, I've selected my integrated webcam. So uh, right now it's not doing anything because I, it's just putting the regular camera through. So what I'm now going to tell it is, well, replace everything that's not the foreground with green. Like that. I could also pick something else. But now, but since we're going to want to use shaders, I say just replace it with green. Because when I replace it with green like that, minimize this, then I can go back into my camera settings here and say, well, what do you want to remove with the regular chroma key feature is green. So like that, which means, of course, that now I get a much better output here. So is it perfect? No, it's not. You can see the little lines around my head and uh, things like that down here by my shirt. So if you have a real green screen and you know how to light it and stuff like that, that will work better. But if you don't, this is pretty good. And of course, you can still mess with the chroma key settings here to make it a little bit better. If you turn up too high, something else might go away, like my shirt, but maybe something here. And you can also be, say, a little bit see-through, if you will. And of course, you can get rid of that if you pay for it, as I said. So that is a pretty cool feature to get there. And it works very, uh, very well uh, for what it does, I think. And of course, as some of my friends mentioned, it helps being bald. So may I suggest shaving your head before you do this. So that's a little bit about how you can use the chroma key feature without a real green screen. So finally, little details I've experienced 
that sometimes other programs on the laptop is, is locking the cameras. So if you've been having Zoom running or Google Meet or whatever, you need to really, really get those services killed all the way down before setting this up. Otherwise, you won't be able to get to the camera. You can select it, uh, or maybe sometimes you can, but it won't start. So that's one thing to remember. Another thing is that since it's a go-between, now, uh, now this feature, uh, the Chroma Cam, actually uses the internal camera, so you can't select that anymore because that's locked by Chroma Cam. So that's one thing, other thing to remember. And uh, finally, if for some reason this little settings page doesn't open when you select the camera, I've had that happen too, you can actually go into some other program that's uh, directly supported by Chroma Cam, and then you can uh, make the setting to the green in there, save that, that'll actually save in Chroma Cam, so then you don't really need it to open in Virtual DJ for it to work. So I hope this inspires some people if you want to use some kind of green screen kind of setup without having an actual green screen.